Hi guys, what's up? Um, today's usually Throwback Thursday, but I wanted to do this good wall, good wall, <laughs> Goodwill doll haul, and you can see the doll butt right there. And I'm gonna warn you, there is a little bit of doll nudity in here. Um, I've got this big bag of mixed dolls, um, but Goodwill is kind of gone up on their prices on dolls and it's a little bit disappointing um they used to be like 99 cents for dolls with no clothes and then like a dollar or two dollars for dolls with clothes or at least the goodwill in my area and it's like oh my god and then the monster high and ever after high dolls are three dollars whether they're dressed or not so I did find some really good ones and oh well she does have both her earrings um yes kitty let me just set them up and then I'll show them to you this whole bag I think cost me ten dollars and forty seven cents well technically it was a twelve dollar transaction um you know, because I bought, like, a Care Bear. But. Let me move this back a little bit. Because I did get some with some pretty decent clothes. And they were. A lot of them did. They, you know, they're really pretty. But. Um. When I went to look for the dolls. I mean, there was a whole bunch, so I just got the best ones, because it looked like somebody just got rid of all of their little girl's dolls at once, and a lot of them were really just messed up bad, but I just got the ones that looked like they were in the best condition. Um, I think this one looks like summer. So, and I got there's one in here from the 80s, and there's a brat that I do not recognize. Uh oh, some of them might need a little bit of head repair. Um, and this brat doll is wearing some clothes that I put on her because she had nothing, she didn't even have feet. So, let me show you everybody. Okay, I don't remember Sasha being that dark, but there might be a variation of Sasha where her skin is that dark, so I'm not sure. Then we have this one. She's got the screws in her arms. She's really pretty. And then this one, you know, the plain Millie face, but she's got this gorgeous gown. And they got all oh, their hair on their face. And then this one who's got makeup and then the one from the 80s she's got earrings and then this one who's really pretty she just looks like a playset doll and then of course this one who's a fashionista so i'm gonna go through like one by one and show you guys okay so here is the brat stall um she's just wearing some clothes i put on her and a pair of feet um, but she's got a really, really, really pretty face. I think it's a Sasha. I'm not sure because she's really dark-skinned. Um, she's like the darkest Bratz doll I've ever seen. And I thought Sasha was lighter than this, but I don't know. I've only had one Sasha, and the Sasha I had, I don't remember her being this dark. But I really like her. I think she's pretty, and I'm going to put her up there with my um my chloe and my yasmin so she's really 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 pretty and then we have this one and she's fully dressed her hair needs work as you can see it's like really really strange and it's textured but she's got this beautiful face and this beautiful skin and look at these if i could get it to focus these light brown eyes come on focus and these nice brows and I like there we go and these berry colored lips and she's got earrings look at her hoops I mean I was not gonna complain for two dollars for this doll she's fully clothed 
check out her shirt. It says Barbie on it, and it's got, like, she's got this pants with, like, a leather belt, and they're real pants. So, I mean, I don't know what year she is, but she's a nice, uh-oh, it kind of, she's a nice doll. She just needs to work with her hair. It's, like, feels like her hair was in braids at one point, and they took them out. So, ah, sit I really don't mind the screw elbows on that doll. She looks pretty cute. And then we've just got our regular basic girl here. You know, our plain Jane. But she's got... I think this is the Statement Stripes. Um, but I really like this evening gown. And it looks like an older dress. It doesn't look like something new. It looks like just from a couple years old. Her hair needs some taming <gasps> but she's really cool and then then we have this older girl and this oh my god i hope you guys didn't hear my story this i know is an older um fashion not fashion fever it's an older dress because i got this out of a this this came on the doll but i have one on another doll of mine that is came from a fashion pack with a pair of white shoes that's just like this um anyway her hair needs work and uh, i'm trying to adjust the doll hang on her hair needs work and most of them they had their hair cut and stuff and these don't her hair has not been cut um her face is gorgeous her face is gorgeous she's wearing makeup one of the very few ones that have makeup So really, 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 really pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, sit still, please. And the ones, of course, that don't have clothes are like a dollar forty nine. Girl, you need to do something with that hair. <sighs> she looks like she got lipstick all over her teeth, but she's wearing her original earrings. So she looks like um some she might have had like a holiday dress probably or something on. She's got like long hair and the silver undies and she was a dollar 49 she's just your classic 1985 barbie i'm probably not going to keep her because i sell the older dolls on ebay um well and some of these are going to go into the booth you know i'm just going to keep the ones i really like <clears throat> like the darker skinned ones this one, I don't know who she is. Um, she kind of looks like Summer, but don't quote me on that. And her hair is not been cut. It just needs to be brushed. Her face has got that, like, what you guys call the Millie sculpt, like this one over here. Um, and she's got the dirty blonde hair, and I really like the hair color. And she just looks like either... Uh, she's, I don't doesn't look like a fashionista. She's got the fashionista body... I haven't checked the date on her, but she might be one of those playset dolls. And of course, this one we all know is the popsicle jumpsuit chick. Um, because I'm probably going to keep this one more than likely. Um, I might just buy her a new one. I don't know. I just have to see if I can fix her. It's just mainly their hair. It's like a lot of them, they look like they had been shoved under the bed. Um, and their hair has never been brushed. They've just like matted and stuff and they're, they cut their hair. But her hair has not been cut. I mean, I found one like her at a Hope's Closet before and her hair had been chopped. Her hair is the length it is supposed to be. Um, I might use her for a head donor and a body donor. I don't know. Um... Probably not. Uh-oh. I was like, I don't know why it's freezing like that. Because I'm moving it too much. But anyway, yeah. So, I thought I would need more outfits than that. So, I only need to get, well, two modern outfits. And I need to find an 80s outfit for her. But anyway, guys. Yeah, so that is going to complete this video. And I hope you guys did like did like it. Um, but they need some love. <laughs> but like I said... All of these before tax were ten dollars and forty seven cents, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for seven dolls. Yeah, so not bad. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Bye, love you.